welcome to the tutorial. If you're new here, my name is Paolo and today I'll take you through how I made this video. Take off the full full. So this tutorial is pretty much a response to the comments that I got from my TikTok video. I'll be breaking down the different sound effects that I used and later on the video I'll show you how I did the same effect using videos instead of photos. Okay just a quick checklist. You should have the photos that you want to use and you should have Photoshop beta installed. If you don't have it just go to creative cloud and it should be under beta apps. Okay let's go and I'm gonna start with the uh, with the kimono photo when you have the photo uploaded like this just go to your select tool click the select tool is this called the select tool marquee tool and i'm selecting her right i want to select everything else around her so just click the invert tool which is right here invert selection generative fill and the prompts that i used were japanese temple and look oh my god these are actually so good what the heck these are better than the ones i i had before oh my days these are so good oh my god anyway so you can do that or you can just select like this building that you want to replace like that and do mountains click generate super duper easy super duper easy and look it just generates the mountains like that i'm just gonna do a quick rundown of the different prompts that i use for each photo for this can one i don't think i used any prompts oh i used japan actually the other prompt was empty and i maxed out the variation so i did 60 60 so and these ones are really funny the ones with the doctor and stuff there's some creepy ones too where the faces haven't fully been generated properly oh my god that's it. fireworks for this one i actually wanted lanterns but i wasn't generating the right lanterns i wanted like the floating lanterns that you see in the festivals like yeah anyway this one i really like this one too because uh, it just looks so realistic especially the ones with the mountains in them these are so good i did like 60 variations this one was pretty straightforward i just did food lighting is perfect this one is so good as well so i did like 60 variations for this one it was just a little weird sometimes and i just cut those weird ones but yeah really good ai stuff street food i didn't think i ended up using this it just looked like photoshop like normal photoshop these ones this one was fine this one was okay yeah just a, that's a quick rundown of different prompts you'll have a maximum of 60 variations so the way i found it to do this really quickly is to just generate as many as i can and the way i exported it is i had quick png export map to command m so what i would do is i would just click command m to quick export and then i would just rename so one enter and then I, ha I would have my mouse right on the next button so next command m rename to two enter click next command m rename to three enter and yeah that's, i did that like 60 times for 60 photos if you find a faster way to export these please let me know because i was downstairs watching a movie while exporting them after that just open up your video editing software like davinci or premiere pro and yeah davinci is free so you should use it okay so when you're importing you can actually instead of importing like this like dragging it into this window like that if you want to keep the folder structure you can actually drag it here like that you know what i mean yes anyway cancel that that's a quick tip for importing select the photos drag them into your timeline like this we're just gonna go this select all of them right click change clip duration frames i usually do three change have them all selected still go to edit delete gaps and then zoom in you can control the speed by um you know having the right frame duration but you can keep them at three add them to a new compound clip like this and this is pretty much like nesting if you're used to adobe you can just change the speed of this so you can change the speed by doing this or um going here and then retime change speed Did that yes that's how you do it we we'll go through those sounds later a lot of the cuts and the simple cut i pretty much based it of the music so i usually cut like before the beat like just one frame before the beat like this but yeah let's go through the clips first for this one i just match cut it to the music like they said and then here i just did um a zoom in transform so i just zoomed it up and then i had a little rotation one as well 
yeah super super easy i think i might have eased it in yep that's the effect oh i also had a zoom blur here kind of noticeable more in the end because i animated it to zero to like a lot just to exaggerate that um the zoom in if you know what i mean um and here just a really simple transition that i do sometimes is that 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 as i masked out um the rest of the footage i don't know how to use fusion properly so i don't want to give a tutorial on that but yeah this one no effects here plain jane um here plain as well i think it's just matching it to the music so and then here also simple rotation and zoom out so i had it zoomed in at 1.5 scale and rotation angle at five and then i did this because i had a card shuffle sound effect and it kind of just yeah kind of made sense a little bit not really maybe i don't know next one i had it frozen to match the music when he starts rapping again that's when it flips with the ai generated ones and then it goes here and then just had a simple masking really ugly masking just to transition well to the next clip just like two frames yeah and then the last effect that i used is the same thing like zooming in but this one i think um is just exponential um zoom in i think i manually did this i actually prefer adobe when doing these um graph editors and stuff because i'm not too used to davinci but yeah here it is okay the things you've been waiting for sound effects let's go first thing i use this machine sound effect a lot let's go to our audio here this is the original i did change the pitch a little bit you can see here oh no i didn't i changed the speed of it and the volume obviously and then also here's the washing if we look at the full wash it's like that and i just did like a fade easy easy peasy and then this one is um another one fast cuts this one is a ui completed sound i love using this it's so good paired up with this is also the digicam sound like turning on sound so together it sounds like yes and then i had this i think i reversed this one ui um eco sound yeah, I reverse this, but the original sound is like this. You can just reverse it for build, whatever. Next sound is machine. This one, I added a low pass over here. And then I think I changed the pitch, like lower pitch, same slow speed as well. So if I solo that out, it sounds like this. Okay, next sounds, iPhone typing. I use this a lot for typing sounds, but in this case, like fast cuts. Because, you know, we always texting when we're eating. Anyway, next sound is is a card shuffle. I love using this one. The first time I used this was on the eye candy video. And I've been using it ever since. I used this a lot as well. Vintage flash load. Sounds like this. I always pair it up with this. The vintage flash. For like reveals and whatnot. First time I used this freeze sound effect was in the eye candy video as well. And I've been using it ever since. This is the original sound. And this is how I did it. I just did like a fade. Like that. All things sounds like this. And then this one is the machine one again with low pass. You know, same thing. But I think less of the low pass effect. And then whoosh here to like build the zoom. Yeah, really simple sounds. Yep. Hopefully that helps you guys out. The next part of this video is creating something new. So basically like all these effects that we've been doing are using photos. The next level up is doing that effect on a video. Using this video that I did, I am not prepared, but let's go. This is like a test one I did, but it gets better. Just wait. And let's go to Photoshop where I did. Ah, okay. Wait, let's preface how to do this first. Oh my God, this tutorial is so unorganized. First thing is it's actually easier than you think. Um, <laughs> We need to convert a video into into the photos. So I use media encoder. Should I show you how to do that? Uh, nah. <laughs> you pretty much need to convert the video that you want to um, use for the AI stuff into a sequence. So I figure out how to do that first. Um, I have them all here. And the idea is I kind of want to change like this Nike 
shoe so it flips to like maybe different shoes or you know what i mean different kinds of shoes or i don't know we'll see what uh, photoshop does because i haven't done this properly yet and in here i wanted to change the environment and stuff you know because it's a bit plain like it it stays on the thing for quite like, long quite long here i think i wanted planes and stuff yeah and then here maybe like a throne i don't know let's get into it so i have photoshop open my sequence is right here and then all you need to do is do the same thing that we've been doing select the portion you want to replace like this i'm just going to do nike generate wow it's it's the same shoe um <laughs> and then do that for this one as well do the same thing so i'm just going to select final photo because i want to do this really quickly make your quick selection i'll do the same thing nike my laptop is dying and yeah these are cool okay moving on to the next i did a little bit of this already and i'll show you i actually didn't have any prompts and the selection i did is just uh like this so yeah really simple really simple and then i inverted i'm just gonna stop this now i'll show you the final product yeah. anyway i hope you enjoyed your time here i hope you learned something and um please subscribe see you in the next video I'll be more prepared next time, hopefully.